Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Hope you guys are all having a great day. So this is another video about Atlas. Um, I'm just going to be going over the very, very basics of it uh, in a video form so it's shorter than my live stream. Uh, I'm, again, this is not like I'm not saying I know everything because I definitely don't. I know very, very little. Um, but I do know some of the basics that I think might help some newer teammates out. Uh, if you're coming into beta, these are good things to know so you can kind of get started. Um, cause these are just like things that I found out by myself as well as with my team. Big shouts to King, uh, D uh King, King Durwood. Um, he helped me a lot as well as Cherry and Curly. Um, so big shout out to them. So when you first come into Atlas, uh, this is like my first day cause I know maybe my officers can use this. Uh, when you're coming into Atlas, right? And let's say you spawn here. Okay. So let's say, cause I believe in Atlas when you spawn in it's random, right? Um, and let's say you're like me and I started around here. I started neutral zone pretty far off from where my team was. Um, cause it doesn't put you, it doesn't spawn you in where your team is. Okay. So if you see right here, okay. All these like different sections, okay. Are owned by different teams. You only like your team will only own a small portion of the islands unless you're dreadnought, of course. Uh, and then you're OP. But so for example, my team right now owns these five islands right here, these two sectors, and then also, like, a couple small ones around the world, all right? So, now here's here's the problem, all right? How do you get there? How, how do you get from here, all right, all the way across here to all the way over here? So, what you can do is, is do this, all right? So, let's say you're over there, okay? Your teammate should, your team should know the coordinates of your, like, the place that you own, if not, most likely they'll have these green targets set up, which if you don't, I would highly suggest doing so your team know, teammates know where you are. Um, but if you set up these targets, look for them and then click on the one of the islands, doesn't matter which one, as long as it has your team name on it, click on it and hit set home. All right. So if you click set home, it will move your home over to that particular island. All right. Now, when wherever you are on the map, if you die, your Primark is going to spawn back at your home. Okay, so this is what I did personally is you basically have to kill yourself in a sense or get someone else to kill you. Um, I personally got a viewer to help me and he killed me. But basically, all you have to do is set your home to that island. Make sure it says home. All right. So you might notice it doesn't actually say home right now um, on the particular island, but it just takes a while. All you have to do from there is just click on it again. Okay, after it's your home and hit move now. If you are very far away, you are going to go through enemy territory and you most likely will get um, blocked. Now, you can go through it like through uh, neutral zones, which are white zones. Any white colored uh, space is a neutral zone. That means that no one can attack you. I can go here, right? There's so there's a ton of enemies surrounding it, right? They're, like Any of these guys could kill me, but they can't because it's a white zone. So you can technically go through the entire map, I believe, almost through white zones. Um, but like the thing is, is that in all honesty, it's like, it's going to take a while. Personally, I think killing yourself is a lot, <laughs> dang it. Uh, I think killing yourself is a lot faster. Um, so yeah, once you do that, you can, your it'll say your prim Primark has been freed and then you go tier and you can train it. Well, not train it, but you can like rebuild it basically. And it will pop up to where your home is. Right. Plain and simple. That took like three minutes longer than it should have, but that's the basics. All right. To get from one place to another really quickly, set your home to it, kill yourself. Um, you can use this, I believe, anywhere. If I'm not mis like, I if I wanted to be here, right, I could put my home here, and then it would take me there. I'm pretty sure. Uh, if so, that'd be really nice. But yeah, so that's that's basically it. All right. So again, look for places that have these green, uh, like light shining up. If you scroll out, you'll still be able to see them, right? Because you'll see like how all the other small places are gray except for these and it's like this green color um so that's really nice as well as this red which means that they want you to target this area uh i think this is ours if i'm not mistaken pretty sure it is seeing as how it's all blue yep it's our continent so yeah just depends on what color the uh target is but make sure that you always go to one like always go to your teammates uh islands and not someone else's because they you, they, they will kill you unless you're an ally with them all right and i wouldn't i wouldn't push the limits on that um because i did and i got killed so all right let's go over the other basics all right so if you look in the left all right i'm just gonna go down this column of like the buttons all right so the first thing is the store it's pretty self-explanatory now i was debating all right 
just for video purposes, getting this right here, all right, all these shards, I might end up doing this, to be honest, uh, if this video, all right, let, all right, you know, I'll, I'll do this, all right, if this video gets 100 likes, I will buy this, all right, and I'll, and I'll make some rider gear, okay, 100 likes, that's pretty difficult, to be honest, but, you know, I'll do it if we do that, I don't know, we probably won't hit it, but whatever, um, so yeah, here's the normal packs and all that, underneath is the event prizes, and the events, Guys, seriously, Atlas is so nice because look at how many speed ups you get. It's crazy. Um, you actually get a ton of one hour speed ups, and also it goes like I've heard events have twelve hour speed ups as well. Um, so if you need speed ups, like these events are really really good. Um, there's different types of events, just like in game. Okay, so this event in particular is train Primarchs and Riders event. Level up your Dragon Riders and Primarchs with glory to earn prizes. Earn 0.5 points every for every glory you spend leveling up your riders or primarks Sp earn 202.8 why in the world is it 202.8 like it's so specific i don't understand uh but okay per rider shard um red you spend leveling up your riders and also earn six points per mine or poacher defeated multiplied by your daily loot multipliers all right so basically you're leveling up your primark which i can do um so how you get glory is a pretty commonly asked question you get glory by attacking people not your poachers all right so the poachers are these like little guys right here. Oh dang it! I keep clicking buttons too fast. Um, it's like cookie clicker all over again. Um, so if you go here, okay, you'll see these like little guys right here that have the orange. These are poachers, right? And you can attack them. They're just like normal bases. They're just like the mines. Um, but they, you'll look in the bottom left hand corner. You'll see that it gives ice shards, right? Angled. So these will give you materials for different dragon rider gear. Um, which you can use personally. I'm not to that point yet. Like I could, but I'm waiting for the event. Always wait for the event to do anything. Um, is apparently what you want to do. So yeah, just keep that in mind as well. But yeah, so these are poachers. Gold mines are basically just these right here. Uh, they're the volcanoes. I think yeah, we have one right here. So if you go here, you can. This is basically your XP base. Um, and you can you know attack this as many times as you want. And yeah, that's the gold mine. So, you get glory points by attacking other people. Now, you have to have more than one, uh, like, attacker. Basically, you get, like, you have to have more than one troop. Um, so, for example, today, I was attacking, I think, Balakas, and I got a ton of glory on my rider, enough to level him up three levels uh, from one attack, because I lost all my troops. So, basically, you get glory from attacking other teams. Uh, the more troops that you kill, the more glory you get. So, if you want to get glory, attack other teams, you need to make sure that you bring plenty of ships, though. Uh, I brought, I think, what was it? I brought 7,000 troops. I lost everything. Um, but I think I got 6,000-something glory, which is really nice because now I can actually level up my Primark, right? You see right here? It says, you'll see that, like, the little metals beside the gold. 10.4k um, out of 3.8k. Sorry if I'm, like, going over this really quick. If you guys have any other questions, put it down below. I'll make sure to answer all the co uh, questions in the comments, all right? I'm normally, I'm pretty bad about answering uh, questions in the comment section, but this video, I'll make sure to do it just, like, and if I don't know an answer, I'll ask some of my teammates because uh, they're willing to help, all right? So, that is glory, okay? The, like, metal thing. And then this is gold. So, you level them up, all right? And I should have enough. I'm going to go and expedite him because, you know, why not? Um, well... There is a good reason why not to do this, but you know what? It's video, so, like, why not? All right, there we go. So, now he's there. I can level him up to 5, which is going to be really nice, um, but I need a lot of gold, which, unfortunately, I do not have. So, I should now have, uh, like, I should be able to collect the next prize here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I am. And cool, there you go. And I got a lot of speed ups back, as well as all this stuff as well. Alright, so that's basics on how to get glory and all that jazz. Um, if you, I'll talk about rider, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about that. I was going to talk about riders in this video, but I'm going to save that for a completely other video. So the next thing on the list is the bazaar. Now the bazaar is really nice actually because you can get a lot of good stuff. Um, yesterday I got 1.5 million gold, which I know for some people is like not the best. But for me personally, with gold being a little bit difficult to get, uh, it's definitely, it was really, really nice because I could train a lot of troops um, yesterday, and it was really, really nice, but you'll see, like, you have different rewards, so, five star is obviously the best, uh, you get 15,000 ice crafting shards, four stars is bullhorns, now, bullhorns, you should only be using, 
during troop building events, all right? And again, I'm going to go over, like, specific things, like, in a different video. This is, like, generic um, if you're coming into Atlas pretty soon, all right? Then you got a bunch of two stars, three stars, all that jazz. Dragon Rider shards are used to level up your Dragon Riders, but you have to get glory on them. I'll explain how to get that specific glory in another video. Uh, crafting scrolls are used to get Dragon Rider gear. Any type of the dragon of the like crafting charts like wind, fire, dark, light, not light, sorry, this is not um summer's war. Um like wind, fire, earth, dark, and then like what oh, camera wind, I think. Um all those can be used to also build gear. And uh I think they're called uh what are they called? Oh dang it, I can't remember now. Um Swift or haste, haste, haste. Um haste you can use to uh, speed up, like, make it basically, so let's say it takes 10 minutes to get from region to region, all right, it only takes five if you use one haste, okay, it's simple as that. Every single day you get a free roll in the bazaar, but you can also keep doing it, uh, I'll just do one for the video, so I am currently, I don't know, I'll, I'll do this one, middle one, okay, hopefully you get the five star, maybe, uh, only one star, um, but you can keep doing that as many times as you want, and you'll notice that the price of these keystones keeps increasing. Now, the only place that you use keystones are in the bazaar. So definitely wait until you have uh, ones that have haste in them. When you have uh, really good drops of bullhorns, which are really, really vi viable. Sorry. Uh, very, very, um, what are they called? Oh my goodness. Valuable. Uh, because you can't get them in like event drops and all that jazz. So they're definitely useful as well as haste because it takes a while to get places. Um, especially when you're trying to catch up to your team who are doing an evasion of a certain attack. Definitely want to be able to get there fast enough. So yeah, that is the bazaar. Don't use the rubies. I was talking to someone who used about $100 worth, and he got absolutely nothing, so don't do that. And then, of course, you have this where you can build troops. Now, the best place, sorry, the best way to get troops is using the revive. Now, this means, all right, so let's say I want to build this amount of troops. So, for example, all right, these like these brown things are called hats, all right? And if I use a thousand hats right now and a hundred and two thousand gold, I will get a hundred and two troops. All right, it's pretty easy, right? Every hundred caps, okay, equals one. Wait, every ten caps equals one troop, okay? Every ten caps equals one troop, and it's basically basically one thousand gold per troop if you're training troops straight up, okay, like this. Now the best way to do it is to revive troops. These are troops that you were killed when you were attacking somebody or someone attacked you. Uh, you can see right here, I have 4,000 that can be revived. Um, and you'll notice right here, I can revive 440 for less caps and the same amount of gold, right? So instead of only being able to build 102, reviving is basically literally almost over, sorry, over, I can get over 4, 000, four times more troops than I could if I was just making it from scratch. And I'm not even using the same amount of hats, okay? So always prioritize these troops first because they're the ones that can um, really maximize the amount of time as well. Because look, an hour versus an hour and 25. And look, an hour and 25 minutes for each of these, but you're getting a lot more with this one, all right? So it's basically a lot more worth it. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, that is the basics of how to get the troops. Again, I'll explain more like as I understand more. Um, but again, I'm still learning as well, so just keep that in mind. Um, so also, guys, the Primark, you can actually get more Primarks. You can have up to three. Apparently, this is, like, the third Primark is insanely, like, expensive. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, so I won't be getting it anytime soon, but I'm actually going to go ahead and start reviving some of these troops. Um, the way you get hats is through, like, over time, you get 1,440 an hour. So 144 troops an hour. Okay, so you can get like up to what is that 2000 something a day, which is not bad. Um, I'm getting that right now because I'm I'm pretty active right now in Atlas. Like if I'm spending more time in Atlas than I am the actual game um, to give you an idea. All right. So let's see what else. Oh, yeah. Th these buttons right here. Okay. So this button right here basically show takes on and off the uh, like. So if you look at the map, right, this shows you the very easily what parts of the map are like basically neutral zones where no one can be hit okay 
as well as these red pieces of land are no man's land. That means you can get hit by anything. Like you, these cannot be conquered. But if you go there, understand you can get hit within an instant. Uh, and I normally actually sit. There's a good spot right here. Uh, I sit here a lot and just wait for someone to come here and I attack them. Um, and it's pretty easy to rack up some glory points just from that. Uh, it's actually really really nice. But yeah, so don't stay there very long. Um, don't park there either. You will get taken out really, really fast. Okay, don't do that. So let's see what else. There we go. I like keeping that on just so it's more colorful, right? I like the color. Um, so it's not just so that. And also it's easy to tell like where different teams have their locations at. So this like scroll thing has basically my assets. This shows you where you have different troops. Okay, so right now this is where I have 180 troops. Uh, 180 troops assets are in this tower right here. It gives you the coordinates as well. It also says my rider has one because again, I, everything got killed. Uh, so right now they're in training. And by the way, guys, troops, the troops that you train, okay, will always go to your home base. If your Primarch is at your home, it will go to your Primarch. If not, it will go to the garrison at your home. So let's say my Primarch is over here. Okay. So let's say he's like way over here and my home is right here. Okay, and I finish these troops. All these troops are going to be going to my garrison, not my Primark. So don't move super, super far away. And then, like, on an invasion, right, on a warpath with your team. I did this the other day when, uh, what are their, what are their names? Um, dang it, what are their names? A good team, uh, I can't remember their names now, were on a rampage, and I completely forgot that my troops don't go to my... Uh, Primark. So I had to go all the way back, which took me about 20 extra minutes. I, I didn't have time, and I missed a lot of attacking. So, again, keep in mind, they always go back to your home. <sighs> Is there anything else? I think that's enough for now. I think that's enough information. Like, this is, like, a lot of information if, you're, if you don't even have Atlas right now. Um, if you're getting Atlas soon, congratulations. I know there's a lot of people that are being negative about it. Honestly, I love it. It's a lot of fun. Um, the game crashes some, which I, like, it's just whatever. Um, I reload within, you know, a minute or so. So it's not that bad. And also, you get a lot of free stuff. You get Dragon Riders. You get all that. Um, you know, overall, it's, it's not too bad, right? It's not too bad. We got this one. All right, we got Grog and we got Mayhem. I can level him up. Um, I'm sorry, I can't level him up right now. Uh, I need to get glory points, which I'll explain how to get this particular glory points very, very soon. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you had a great day. All right, great time. Great day. Great. Well, I hope you had a great day too, but hope you guys had a good time watching. Hopefully it makes sense. Again, ask any questions down in the comment section. I will answer it. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.